Have you experienced tough love before? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Anne never forgot the moment in her fifth grade math class. You may not put down your chalk. You may not return to your desk until you have correctly solved the math problem, bellowed sister. For young Anne, math was a nightmare, and this particular sister was merciless in her attempts to make her learn. Those feelings of inadequacy followed her through college and into adulthood. Anne eventually found happiness as a wife and mother and learned to deal with her lack of self-confidence. Some years later, Anne was visiting a sister from her old school she had stayed in contact with. Anne was stunned to learn that her fifth grade math teacher was also a resident at that convent. Her friend explained that Anne's nemesis had been sent back to school, earned two doctorates, spoke five languages fluently, and taught at colleges in the United States, Mexico, and Peru. She was a brilliant woman who simply could not teach children. Anne marshaled her courage and went to the room of her fifth grade teacher. After a long moment and silent prayer, Anne knocked on the door. Sister's steely gaze nearly stopped Anne's heart, but she recognized Anne and with a big smile, welcomed her. Anne and the elderly nun talked about the old school and sister spoke of her years of teaching college and how much she loved her students. Suddenly, the nun stopped. Tears were streaming down her face. She took Anne into her arms and asked for her forgiveness. She said that Anne's class had been her first. She had 45 students and her instructions from Mother Superior had been to maintain complete control over every student every day, no matter what. She had no idea how to help Anne with her math block other than to scare her. Sister said she was more afraid of Anne and the other students than they could have ever been of her. The two women laughed and cried as both hearts began to mend. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus enters a synagogue and preached with authority and showed his divine authority when he exorcised a man possessed with an evil spirit. These leave his listeners amazed. As children, our parents were the first authority we encountered. We began our lives listening and obeying. When we reached our adolescence, we started to reject authority and desired more freedom. Eventually, as we matured in age and wisdom, as we became parents ourselves, we realized that the authority that hovered over us for that young period in our lives, which we oftentimes detested, was actually our saving grace. God's authority over us is what will also prevent us from giving up our souls to the evil spirits to try to weaken our faith. When we let God rebuke their evil intent on us, we can overcome the negativity that these spiritual enemies of ours can bring to us to slowly destroy our peace, our joy, our life.
G, proud sponsor of Moms. It was our faith in our parents that sustained us through those tumultuous years of our youth. It was their love that brought us to into believing that we can conquer our fears, that we can be somebody, that we can flourish. Sometimes it meant tough love, which we detested at the beginning and may have caused us anguish. Perhaps we are who we are today because of them. It is the same with our God. He wants you to believe that you can win this tough spiritual battle you are faced with. He wants to teach you humility by allowing you to go through the difficult situations and people that you encounter. His love for you is what will weaken the evil spirits within you. It may not be evident as you face a tough world. Don't give up. Pray for His grace to strengthen your yearning for goodness and faithfulness to Him. Give Him an opportunity to free you from the evil spirits that continue to gnaw at you, that continue to block you from praying fervently to Him, from trusting Him. The envy and jealousy, bitterness and resentment, fears and insecurities that you have can go away if you just put yourself under His complete authority and love. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, be in control of me and my life. Do not let me be devoured by the evil spirits that will try to destroy and weaken my resolve to be holy. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.